Uh, I've really, really tried my hardest to be polite about the whole Ronaldo situation ever since the summer when he handed in his transfer request so the fact that the move didn't materialise and he stayed at the club and the, the sort of uh, the, the stroppiness and petulance at times that we've seen. But after last night, I can't do it anymore. Manchester United are a better football team without Cristiano Ronaldo in it. I think he realised that last night. I think we all realised that last night. And if you didn't, you weren't watching the game properly. I'm going to give my thoughts, full thoughts on the on what Ronaldo did in walk, walking out before full time. Two minutes before full time. He did that on purpose. He wanted the spotlight on him. Let's make no mistake about it. Because that there last night was the best team performance we've seen at Old Trafford from Manchester United in a long, long time. From Bruno Fernandes to Lissandro Martinez to Casemiro to Fred to Shaw to Delo to Anthony. As a collective, the team was fantastic against Spurs. But there was one man who was not involved in it. And there was one man who decided two minutes before the end of the game to make it all about him. And it's the most petulant thing I've ever seen from a man who is whose professionalism is upheld as the absolute creme de la creme. That's the most unprofessional thing I've seen from him. And you have to imagine, think about what mindset he's in to do that at that particular moment in time. He's so pissed off at not coming on that he doesn't care about United winning 2 0, the best team performance, Old Trafford bouncing, rocking. He's ignoring all of that positive energy that's reverberating around Old Trafford. So much so that he storms off down the tunnel like a petulant child. And I'm done with it. Eric Ten Hag should not have been asked about Ronaldo after the game. He should have been asked about how proud he was about that team performance. But instead, he had to speak about Ronaldo. I don't pay attention today, he said last night. We'll deal with that tomorrow. I want to focus on this team. It was a magnificent performance from all 11 players because it was. Not only did Ronaldo decide to walk off before... He could have waited three minutes and nothing would have come of it. Diddly. He made a conscious decision to step up off the bench, walk down, so the spotlight was firmly on him. Odd beyond belief and not only did he leave the bench to walk down the tunnel he left Old Trafford as well Laurie Whitwell from The Athletic confirming that and you know I think this is a good thing Laurie Whitwell went on to say this that Ronaldo's early exit didn't even make a ripple in the home dressing room as United's players celebrated the win over Tottenham United as a team, we weren't affected by the fact that Ronaldo wasn't there. And that's going to cut him even more. But I t look, we should be talking about nothing but that fantastic performance from United. Eric Ten Hag should have absolutely nothing to talk about apart from those 11 players. But instead, Ronaldo's decided actively, consciously to do this. To... to uh, physically show his frustration so much so that it deserves and warrants him coming off the bench, walking down the tunnel and taking the spotlight. Now, I said this on Twitter last, last night because honestly, I think if you, you know here on United People's TV, I've tried to stay on the fence with Ronaldo. I have. Uh, and I went a little bit too far with the video in the summer. I'm not taking this video down and I'm not taking back anything I say in this video. I really am done with it. I'm done with this petulant. It's a sideshow in a circus. In the same sort of sphere as Paul Pogba, that Eric Ten Hag doesn't need this sort of distraction and this sort of negative energy around him. And you know what as well? And I said this yesterday, and I absolutely stand by that. That team performance against Spurs does not happen if Cristiano Ronaldo is part of it. We do not. We ran 20 kilometers more than we did against Brentford. We won the ball back high up the pitch. The turnovers were incredible. The energy was incredible. Every single one of those players collectively committed to the team. And the result came as a consequence. That would not have happened if Ronaldo was in that team. And some might not want to admit that is the truth. But it's staring you in the face. It's slapping you in the face. This Manchester United team are better without Cristiano Ronaldo in. But what the mad thing about all of this is. The mad thing. He's already done this this season. The first game back. 
well, the first game that he played against Rayo Vallecano in the preseason. He scooted out of Old Trafford before full time. Oh, no, maybe he's been given, uh, given permission by Eric Ten Hag. No, he wasn't given permission by Eric Ten Hag to leave. He decided he didn't want to be there. He decided, fuck this, I'm leaving. I'm more important than the team. No player is more important than the team. Cristiano Ronaldo has ultimately not got what he wants. He doesn't want to be a Manchester United player at the moment because we're not in the Champions League. He tried his best to orchestrate a move during the summer. He put in a transfer request. Obviously, he was left out of the preseason tour because of personal family reasons, of which we are still not privy to that information. But Ronaldo can leave in January, man. I'd actively go ahead and say I want Ronaldo to leave in January. We do not need this energy at the club anymore. We're missing a clinical striker. Yes. Ronaldo is the greatest goal scorer of all time, I would argue. Yes. And my word, I've got so many memories and emotions all tied up into that man. And I think he's the greatest player. I think I've ever been privileged to watch at Old Trafford. But this is utterly, utterly undefendable. And I don't know how anybody can argue differently. On a night where Eric Ten Hag's football comes to life. Months and months of hard graft. Ten Hag from McLaren, from Van der Gag, from every single one of those players on and off the training ground. What was more important to Ronaldo at that moment in time? Him making sure that everybody in Old Trafford knew how pissed off he was. To the point where he didn't even want to celebrate with his teammates. He's ostracized himself here. He's cut himself loose. I think he kind of semi-did in the summer anyway. But I tell you, you know the, the fucking mad thing about all of this, right? These players, when Ronaldo didn't have his 700th goal, we were trying everything to try and get it to Ronaldo. The players were trying to get him that goal. Away at Omania, we got it against Everton. The players want him to do well. Ten Hag has correctly put him out of this team. Ten Hag has taken the decision as a manager sentiment aside. And that is a thing that some people just seem incapable of with Ronaldo. Ten Hag's taken sentiment aside. And Manchester United are a better team as a unit, as a collective unit, without Cristiano Ronaldo in. That is the truth. That is the reality. Ten Hag has had the, the bravery and the power to make that decision. Just like he's done with Harry Maguire. Like he did with Luke Shaw. Look at Luke Shaw now. Like he's done with Tyrell Madassia. Just like he's done with any other player. McTominay too. He's not scared of dropping any player. No matter who your name is. What your name is, sorry. How many trophies you've won. What you've done previously. It matters what he sees. And what he sees in that team. That's what people can't separate. People can't separate the five times champions. I don't know how many times. Did you want five champions? I mean, one more. The six Champions Leagues, five, six Ballon d'Ors. People cannot separate that Ronaldo from the Ronaldo that we are watching. From the Ronaldo here, that one, where is it? From this Ronaldo. He's throwing his toys out the pram. There was somebody in the WhatsApp group earlier who made a good comparison. It's almost like the tri a, a child storming off, but then sitting at the top of the stairs just to make sure you can see them. You know how frustrated they are. This situation's got to end. Ronaldo should be... I don't know if, if it's possible for Manchester United. I, I don't even think it's possible to bring us in a striker of the quality that we need without Ronaldo leaving in January. But this is becoming toxic. This is not a conversation that Ten Hag should be having the day after. Wow, we were brilliant last night. And I covered it all in my live stream this morning. Don't say that I'm focusing on the negatives here. I'm not going to ignore the elephant in the room. Just like Ten Hag has never ignored the elephant in the room. Dealt with everything, faced him. But that from Ronaldo last night was completely and utterly undefendable. I want him to leave Manchester United. I wanted him to leave in the summer when he wanted to leave. No club wanted to pay his wages. Go figure. It's petulant. It's undefendable. It's the second time he's done it. Didn't have permission the first time. Didn't have permission the second time. He just wanted the spotlight on him. Well, congratulations, Cristiano. The spotlight is on you. 
And I, as a Manchester United fan who loves what you've done for my club and has all those memories, I can take that and put that to one side and say unequivocally, Manchester United are a better team without you at this moment in time. That's the truth.